You ever wish you could just clap to find your phone? Well, the very aptly named clap to find your phone lets you do exactly that. You just grant it the necessary permissions, select a sound, then tap this big on button to activate it. And from then on, anytime you're in the near vicinity of your phone and you clap your hands, your chosen sound will play and your phone's torch will flash, which should make it way easier to find your phone. And in my testing, it actually works really well. All right, from there we have Command Stick. And if you're a power user looking for a way to speed up how fast you can navigate through your phone's UI, well then this is an app seriously worth checking out. With the necessary permissions granted, you'll see this little floating black circle on the side of your display, and you just drag it in ever so slightly, and it'll then expand to show you a bunch of controls. Now, this menu is obviously customizable, but the idea is that you're meant to navigate through this little menu using just gestures, which will in turn help you to interact with your phone much faster. So you're able to control your music, or you can quickly navigate between your favorite apps, or you can even use this option to seamlessly scroll through long pages. And whilst it does take some time to get used to how it works, I can absolutely see the potential. And then another app in a similar vein, but with an even simpler approach is Edge Control. So with this app activated, you're able to control both your phone's volume and your display brightness just by swiping on either the left or right edges of your screen. And that's kind of it. But by golly, is this such an intuitive way to control what are probably two of the most commonly adjusted settings on our phones. There are a few tweaks that you can make within the app settings, like changing which side controls which setting. And I will say, I kind of wish that the brightness control was a little more precise, like the volume slider seems to be. But other than that, it still works really well and is super duper handy. All right, check this out. Whilst what you're looking at right now might look like some really cool hacker style app, it's actually a home screen setup. And the best part is that it takes literally seconds to set up thanks to this KLWP theme called Hacker. Now, keep in mind, you do need the pro version of KLWP to be able to load in third party themes like this one. But if you have it, then you can just open this hacker theme, then tap to open it. Then once the various permissions are granted, you just hit save and set it as your phone's wallpaper. And then as long as you have a launcher that supports blank home pages, then you'll be able to use this beautiful theme as your new home screen setup. And man, I don't know how the creator of this theme managed to pull off all of these crazy animations, but the cool part is that just like most KLWP presets, it's all interactive, meaning I can tap here to open the camera app, I can tap here to open a news feed of sorts, and there's even this cool login option, which truly makes it feel like I'm hacking the mainframe in a movie, and then once I'm in, I get access to a bunch of different apps, which I can switch between using this shortcut here. Seriously mind boggling how cool this thing is. And then staying in the hacking vibe for a minute, and next up we have Crook Catcher, which is a really neatly designed application that's been made to help you to keep any malicious people out of your phone. Essentially, with the app set up and activated, anytime someone enters the incorrect pattern on your phone's lock screen, the app will then take an image using the selfie camera, and it'll also capture the precise coordinates of where your phone is currently located. It'll then send that image and those coordinates to an email address of your choosing, meaning if your phone ever gets stolen and the thief tries to unlock your phone, you've now got the evidence that you need to catch whoever's the culprit. There's also a bunch of additional features that can make the app even more theft proof, so definitely an app worth checking out. And something else worth checking out for anyone who owns a Pixel tablet, that is, is this brand new Bluetooth keyboard called the K60 by Pengreen. And a big thanks to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've actually been using my Pixel tablet pretty much every single day for nearly a year now. And so when I saw that there was finally an affordable yet well-built Bluetooth keyboard available for it, I just knew that I had to get one. The tablet beautifully fits right into the case and then you just flick this switch here and as long as the case has enough charge, you'll be able to pair it via your tablet's Bluetooth menu and that's it. Now you've just transformed your Google Pixel tablet into essentially a mini laptop device and given how lightweight and slim this thing is, I've actually been really surprised at just how nice the typing experience is. And on a full charge, get this, it actually allows for up to 1600 hours of continuous use, which is kind of bonkers. And when you're done using the tablet, the whole thing folds up into this really compact form factor, perfect for portability. So yeah, if you've been looking for a way to make your Pixel tablet even more functional than what it already is, then you should definitely think about picking up the Pengreen K60 keyboard attachment using the first link down in the description below. 
All right, halfway down the list today and next up is NetGuard. And this is a really handy app that lets you block specific apps on your phone from accessing the internet. So let's say you've got a game that you love playing that does not need the internet to play the game, but it does use the internet to serve you annoying ads. Well, whilst you could use the solution of setting your phone to airplane mode every time that you wanna play the game, which would block the ads, the issue with this method is that you're then also blocking every single other app on your phone from also accessing the internet as well. And this might stop you from receiving important notifications. And so you can instead use NetGuard to block just the game from accessing the internet instead. Now keep in mind, the app does use a VPN to work, but it's so handy that I think it's still worth it. Then we have private DNS quick toggle. And for those of you who use a private DNS provider, this is an amazing little tool that makes it super easy to turn the setting on and off. For example, I use AdGuard's DNS provider to block intrusive ads so that they don't make filming these videos an absolute nightmare, but there is the occasion where I actually want to disable the feature to perhaps unlock a reward within an app and so forth. Well, instead of having to dive into my connection settings and switching it off that way, and then vice versa once I'm done, with private DNS quick toggle, I'm able to set up a quick settings toggle and quickly switch it off and back on again way, way faster. I love it. And for those wondering, one of the reasons that you might wanna use a private DNS provider is for privacy reasons. But if you wanna take a more rigorous approach to ensuring that the Wi-Fi network you're connected to is secure, then you might wanna try out Wi-Fi Tester. This app lets you perform scans of any Wi-Fi network in your area to assess whether they're exposed to common threats such as WPS and WPA vulnerabilities. And if you're safe, it'll tell you as much, but if not, it'll tell you the risks associated with any given network and even provide you with solutions to keep you safe. You can also run speed tests, which is pretty nice. Plus the app just has a really clean and fluid UI to go with. Okay, second to last today is Camo Studio. And for how far laptops and desktop machines have come these days, one thing is for certain. They pretty much all have awful webcams. And so Camo Studio is an app that lets you really easily transform your phone into a webcam. You just install the app on your phone and then on your computer, then you follow the setup instructions and within minutes, you'll be able to use your phone's camera as a webcam for your computer. And whilst you can use the wired mode, the wireless mode is super great as well and so, so easy to use. Definitely a way higher quality option than using your computer's built-in web cameras. And so finally today we have Meow Money Manager. And as far as expense manager applications go, or at least the ones that I've tried, hands down, this has the cutest and most unique design of them all. You just set yourself a monthly budget and you can also adjust the time period if you like as well. But then whenever there's any sort of transaction that you wanna record, you just tap this pencil icon here, select whether it's an expense, income or transfer transaction, then select a category from this extensive list here and then enter the amount down here, then tap the tick icon. And there you go, that item will be added to your record and you can then continue tracking your various transactions as time progresses. And yeah, like I said, the app just has such a fun and playful design, which is so refreshing given how many, let's be honest, pretty bland budget manager apps are out there. And so I just couldn't not feature it in today's episode. And so there you go, 10 pretty sweet applications that I reckon are absolutely worth checking out. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.